Praise the Lord, everybody. I thank God for all the saints, the believers, the non-believers, the confused, the weary, the stressed out, and the down and out, along with the sick and the shut in. I thank you for being here. I thank you for all coming out in such short notice for staying to talk about this tragedy that we experience in the church today. Now, we don't know what, everybody got questions. We don't know why they came in here and arrest Brother James, but we all know once upon a time, there was rumors going around that he was teaching some ungodly things to the youth choir. Now, we haven't seen those things but when they came and arrest Brother James today, I never seen a SWAT team of so many. Now, I know it didn't take that many officers to remove one man out the pulpit. Now, yeah, he was throwing tambourines and Bibles everywhere, but I still don't think it took excessive force of a, such a thing. I tell you, these days, we just don't know. But I know we're going to need help. The youth then went on strike. And they see, they, they, they go into the jail to see Brother James. Because they said that they just not going to do, they not singing no more till Brother James come back. So, you know what, Lord, we're going to have to pray on this one. We're going to have to call the Lord. On the, we're going to need some help from the Lord. I'm going to call our prayer line. We don't need to talk to the Lord today. Call it 1-800-JESUS. Hello? Pray the Lord. Max, whom I'm talking to. How you doing, Jesus? Everything all right today? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I would like to hear all about your day, Jesus, but I'm going to need to talk to your father today. We got a situation in a church that we need his assistance on. I hope... Just wake him up. This is an emergency of the church. Yeah, we, I, I know, I know, but they came in arrest Brother James in church today, and all the youth committee is on strike. Just yes, okay. Hello, Lord. We got a situation in the church and we need your assistance today. They can't have... Uh-huh. I did, I did, I did that, Lord. I, I did that. I ain't ate no pig feet in three weeks. Yeah. I, I know, I know. My blood pressure is a lot better. But... Lord, Lord, look, we got a serious situation here. They came to pick up brother, um, Lord Jesus, I just, my memory just ain't serving me right today. Yeah, yeah. They picked him up today at the church, and the youth is on strike. And they have something they want to present. They said, that they not singing for nobody. Uh-huh. No, yeah, they said so he get out of jail. You got you got to see this. Hold on, let me hold on. We need your help today. The youth committee is out of control. And now Renita is the ringleader, Lord Jesus. I'll call her mama. Call Sister Evans as soon as we get out, get off the phone with you. She wasn't able to make it today. 
Lord Jesus, watch this. This song was taught to us by our very own pastor, Pastor James, Lord when Jesus. we was just this little. Free Pastor James! My man loves me. He provides for me. He protects me. So tonight, I'm going to drop it low just oh, for him. Drop it low Lord, bless for Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord help me. God loving music. Give it up again for what's your name? Renita. Renita, y'all. Yes. They will never be on this program again. That's enough dropping it low for Jesus and all our Christian viewers. And Lord I ask you, American viewers, please bless don't em. change the channel. All Lord right, who's in the mood for some music that's wholesome Lord. and won't get you sent to hell? Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah. See, Lord, I told you. That Renita and them you and them girls. I don't know what. What brother was doing teaching them children? But I sure thank you, Lord. I told them the Lord will work it out. Amen and hallelujah. I just want to thank you, Lord, for dropping that man down to come and put a nonsense to Renita and them kids because that didn't make no sense. Thank you again, Lord Jesus. You no, know, you tell Jesus I'll call him back. Okay, I love you. And I thank you for loving me more than I love myself, Lord Jesus. And we not just want to let you know, we not putting the bell money up to get him out of jail. We're going to let you work that out, Lord. But I just thank you in advance for coming down in our time of need. And everybody in the church want to thank you. So you have a good day. Until the next time we talk. Amen. Hallelujah. Goodbye. I tell you. I tell you about my God. I tell you. You call up on him. And he will be there. It might not be your time, but I tell you, Lord, he right on time. I tell you, he came in a nick of time and hush running him up. Did y'all see that? What a mighty God we serve. So I just want to say, you guys just... When you don't be worried about nothing, you just call up on the Lord, I tell you, he will work it out every time. So I ask everybody to go home, keep the pastor in prayer, and help us clean up this mess. We're we going to send the police department a bill. That's what we're going to do. Because we can't afford to clean up all this mess that they made today. But anyway, y'all have a good day, and I'll see y'all later. We'll send out an announcement. I don't know when the church is going to open again, but I love you, mean it. I'm doing me. I'll pray for you, and you pray for me. Amen.